Hi, I'm Mrs. Hepson. and I'm going to talk you through the lesson to help you prepare your understanding of the poem called Poppies by Jane Weir. This is a poem written in 2009 and it was at a time when British soldiers were still fighting and dying in wars in both Iraq and Afghanistan. And as a way of trying to kind of understand the suffering that the deaths were causing, the poet laureate at the time, Caroline Duffy, asked a number of writers to compose poems in which this was the key theme that they were dealing with. And Jane Weir was one such writer who wrote this poem, Poppies, in response to Caroline Duffy's request. So this is a poem which really starts to ask the question about what is the human cost of war? And I want you to bear that in mind the whole time that you're listening and, and doing these activities, because it's a really kind of powerful question to be asking. So the first thing that you need to do is to read the to listen to the poem Poppies, and if you've got a copy of it in front of you as well, that would be brilliant, and you can listen to Keely Hall read it and have the words in front of you at the same time. So you'll need to pause the video, click on the YouTube link, listen to the poem and rejoin when you're ready. The next thing to do is to read the poem again yourself, now you've heard it once, um, and start to engage with how it makes you feel personally. It is told from a mother's perspective, so it's really hard for people studying GCSEs to really get that. I never fully appreciated this poem until I was a mother myself, and I put myself into that position. But we are asking you to empathise with the writer here, and what for her is the human cost of war. So once you've read this poem through, you might want to put your first responses, what is the cost to this mother? So pause the video, read it through, write your first impressions, and then when you're ready, restart the video. So let's have a look at how these meanings are created by Jane Weir now. An opportunity to listen to and watch a video where the poem is being live annotated. I'm going to take you through what I find really of interest in this poem. And by the end of it, you'll have um, an annotated version of the poem that looks a little bit like this at the bottom of your screen. So pause the video, follow the web link, listen to me taking you through the poem and what I'm finding interesting. You might need to pause it to keep up with the note taking, that's absolutely fine. But this will take you about 20, 25 minutes to do. Join the video back when you're ready. So once you've got your annotations down, I just thought it might be really helpful to listen to some of the things or read some of the things that Jane Weir herself has said about it. We're really lucky to get the writer's perspective on what she was hoping to achieve. And so firstly, she talks about it being a woman's voice and not a fighter, but a woman, a mother, talking about her son. And that's quite unusual, so it gives a, a different angle, a different perspective. It's very personal. And I think that's partly why we have lots of family images set alongside images and language that we associate with war. She also herself talks about the fact that she has two teenage boys, people who feasibly, in the not too distant future, could be out there fighting. And that really helped her kind of tap into this notion of empathy, which is what I was asking you to do when you were reading it through yourself. How would you feel if that person who you loved more than anything else in the whole world was away fighting? What might those range of emotions be? And then finally, I think what's really interesting is that she talks about the response that she's had to this poem and how powerful a response she's had um, from a whole range of different people. Um, and so clearly it's speaking to a whole range of people, the ideas that she's presenting here, the emotions and the feelings that she's presenting, it resonates with them. And I think that's a really important thing, because at the start of this I said, what is the human cost of war? And I think we're getting a very personal answer to the question. These aren't statistics, but it's a very human answer to the question. So finally, a real key skill to be successful as a literature student is, is making a really considered judgment and evaluating. I can understand lots of different ways of reading and understanding this poem, but actually this one I feel is more important than any other. So I've provided with you as your final task three statements about the poem, three accurate judgments about what this poem is about, how it works as a conflict poem. However, one, for you, will be more accurate, more important, more convincing than the other. So which one of these three statements would you select as the one that you think really sums up what Jane Weir is trying to say about conflict in this poem? And I want you to justify your choice. And in that justification, you might, I would encourage you to be using specific lines from the poem um, that you've, you've really considered in your annotations and to sort of say that these are the reasons why. So you're not just saying it's this because I believe it, but you've got a weight of evidence to convince 
your teacher, your marker, as to why that is the very best answer you can give. This is a task that if you're really thinking about it and, and really drawing up on the poem, should take about 10, maybe 15 minutes to write. Aim to try and get 150, 200 words in the response so that you really are showing, you know, you kind of almost being like a lawyer, highly convincing in the argument that you're presenting. This is the reason I want you to believe. These are the reasons why. So enjoy that. Very best of luck. And remember to send a copy of your um, response to evaluating meaning to your teachers so that they can get a real sense of what you're thinking. Thank you very much.